Okay, I'm going to make a video about synchronizing the carburetors on my Venture. And uh, I'm going to show you the basics as I know it for synchronizing four-cylinder motorcycle engines with carburetors. Uh, it would work with uh, throttle bodies too. But uh, the way... Now I'm not going to do it, I'm of course going to remove my fuel tank and here's how I supply fuel to my carburetors. I, this is a lawnmower gas tank that I appropriated from the trash one day. And I got an inline filter and a shutoff valve on eBay. I think I got these shutoff valves and filters and these hose, these uh, fuel line clamps for like three or four dollars on eBay. And I hang it from a cargo net so that I can get it somewhat level. And uh, anytime you're going to be working with gasoline. have a fire extinguisher close by and if you can don't even do it in the house I'm gonna do mine out here in the driveway I uh, I was involved with two fires I was there I, I started one of them uh, my 305 Honda backfired last day of school when I was in 11th grade uh, I was at work between final exams on my 305, I had just gotten gas. The gas tank overflowed. Of course, I had the air cleaners off. I wanted it to make more power. And it wouldn't start. So, I pulled it from the gas pumps into the bay where I worked. It was a two-bay boron gas station service station. You could buy tires, have your car inspected. We stocked oil pumps, alternate, not all, yeah, alternators, thermostats, fan belts, stuff like that. So I pulled it in, put it on the center stand, and kicked it, kicked, tried to get it to start. Well, it backfired, and the fuel that I had spilled over filling it at the gas pump caught fire. I jumped off the bike, it fell over, my boss was having a cup of coffee and some donuts, and he saw that the bike fell over and there was, it was in a pool of gasoline. Uh, so he grabbed a fire extinguisher. They were empty because me and my buddy that got me involved with motorcycles, we both worked there and when the cat was away, the mice did play and we emptied the fire extinguishers having stink fire extinguisher battles. So my motorcycle burned up on the floor. Uh, he ended up throwing his coffee and breaking donuts on it. And uh, somehow we hooked something onto the back fender and dragged it out into the driveway. And let it burn. So I have a fire extinguisher ready. And uh, here's the other thing I needed to talk about. We've got the bike. We're going to warm it up. This is uh, one way you can have something that you can have a controlled flow to your carburetors that you can shut off when you need to. Have it hanging from a cargo net. That's how I've been doing it. Okay, now this is a set of mercury vacuum gauges. Uh, it doesn't say they're vacuum gauges. It just says uh, PCCC from San Jose, California. Okay, I've had these for decades and uh, they have mercury in them. Uh, I think mercury is more accurate than having individual gauges because like bubbles on balance machines or pull strings uh, when you're adjusting a level bubbles don't lie and mercury don't lie. You're not going to have variations like you can have with analog gauges that have springs in them 
but uh, anyway I use these now here is the basics that if you don't understand this you are not going to synchronize your carburetors okay it's amazing how many people do not understand what I'm going to explain here okay you have to approach a set of four carburetors this is an inline set of carburetors I numbered them this is how the carburetors on a V4 like the Venture are I numbered them all right you have to approach them not as four carburetors you have to approach them as two pairs of carburetors one two pair one and pair two pair one and pair two not as four individuals okay they are Siamese together so it's two sets of Siamese carburetors one two okay here's why when you turn the throttle and watch your bell crank rotate this bell crank shaft with the screws for adjusting the carburetors to each other all right watch them and you'll be able to locate where these adjustment screws are that's what these represent that's where a screw is that balances this carburetor to this one there's the screw in the bell crank that adjusts this one to this one if you don't understand that believe me you are you are going to waste hours trying to get this right same with an inline four you balance this one to this one using the screw between the carburetors on the bell crank same here you adjust this one to this one you don't adjust number three to number two until last and here's why if you turn this screw to try to adjust this carburetor you're just going to screw up the balance between these two the way you adjust this carburetor is by balancing these two together and you match this one to these two or this one to these two by turning the center adjustment that is the last adjustment you make so let's say you uh, get these two to balance with the mercury in the mercury gauge one when you start one may be at, at this number here and number one may be at this number right here okay and its Siamese twin may be up here so you turn this screw and you bring this one down and they meet somewhere around 12 let's say okay then you move over to the other pair and you'll have one that's down here at number four and you'll have the other one that's up here somewhere at number 42 way out of adjustment okay so you turn the screw between this Siamese paired of carburetors the screw between those two and you, this one will come down and this one will come up and they'll meet somewhere so the last one that you did the first two one and two let's say that they settled at number 12 both of those carburetors all right and number three and four settled at number 22 okay the last adjustment you make you never touch these adjustments between the pairs again you only turn the one in the center of the bell crank and that will bring both pairs together wherever they meet somewhere around 18 or 16 forget those numbers don't mean anything that's just the increment that I'm using as an example of where the mercury will be in the in these plastic tubes same here you balance number one to two then you go and balance three to four and then you balance the pair one two to balance you balance them to number three and four by turning that center adjustment screw last you'll be able to tell what it is I'll show you in my video but you you, you have to understand this you can't try to match number four up to number one by turning this screw between one and two or this screw between three and four you can't do it you have to balance three to four and two to one and then you balance the twos to the two pair together in the center same here 
match these two, match these two, and you balance them to each other with the center adjustment. There's always three adjustments on a four-cylinder. You got that? Okay, I'm going to ask questions later. So, I'm going to be making a video. There's a storm moving in. Or I would do it today. Yeah, the... Uh, the weather's kicking up here. I think it's uh, September 12th. So uh, I can't get involved. I have to go to a baseball game tonight for my grandson. So uh, yeah, I can't do it today. All right. So I'll see you in the next video.